Jen. I hope you have a fantastic day. Today, an IPO launch for a technology company at $4 and the stock closed at $43.97. We're going to talk about that company. And the company is really, really interesting because they have a lot of good name brands partners with them. And also, we're going to talk about their income statement and, um, you know, their cash flow and see how liquid they are. Uh, so let's talk about that. Before I get into the technicals of the stock, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I release video every day. The objective here is to find good stocks that we could potentially put our money in and, and make our wealth. And none of, none of this is financial advice. This is just me putting the numbers out there for you guys so you guys can, you know, make a better decision. So uh, so there is a technology company. They work with the data strategy, right? And they provide solution to different uh, partners. And they have very big brands. They have partners. NASA, uh, NASA is one of their partners. Uh, Pfizer is one of their partners, Target, uh, Volkswagen, Whirlpool, uh, Blue Cross, Blue Sheet, that's a healthcare, uh, Metro Health. These are big brands, you know, Spectrum uh, Health, big brand Johnson and Controls, you know, uh, DMC. So these are the, these are their partners, which goes to show that the company itself, it's not a small company, right? Um, revenue for them, for the income statement in 2019, the revenue was $46 million. Everything is by million. And 2020, it grew, literally. Uh, it's, uh, you know, 140% It's like 200%, uh, increase from, from 2019, 2020. We'll find out what's going to happen in 2021. I don't have, they don't have any financial statements, uh, available online for 2021 as of yet. Uh, 2019, their operating cash flow was 0.1, uh, million, but in 2020, it grew to 7.72 million, which goes to show that, and their expenses uh, is 0.21, and so a lot less expense, and their operating cash flow grew literally at 6,173%, okay, which means they're pretty liquid in the uh, at this, looking at this, thing, um, you know, cash flow statement. All right, let's talk about the chart. Now, the, this company just launched, right, so you're not going to have a lot of supportive resistance. However, the other indicators are showing us histogram, MACD, uh, RSI, all stating the stock, even though you see red candles. Uh, at 37.57, the MACD, the histogram is still stating the stock it still has some breathing room where, you know, it could, it, it could further come down or it could go back up because RSI is well above 70. Anything above 70 means the stock is overbought. Anything below um, 30 is stock oversold. Right now, the stock is being overbought and it's still around the 73 levels, uh, 77 levels, even though you see some red candles because it's not a lot of volume here. If you notice, if I hover on the on the bar, it's about 210 stocks were sold, 282, 1,189, but but a lot more bought than than sold. Right? I think if I there were around 20. Uh, let me just real quick check how many stocks were traded. About two million stocks were traded for the stock. Um, and so look, right now there is no support or resistance that I could tell you that you know this is how it's gonna go. What I could tell you is looking at the MACD and the RSI is this definitely is worth to be added to your watch list, even though it's, it's, it's down and after uh, after I was negative 5%. But I have a feeling that tomorrow the stock is also going to have a good day. Uh, the company itself looks really nice. A lot of company, because a lot of stocks are falling, and I've seen a lot of different uh, analysis being done on technology stocks, and a lot of people are you know, pushing technology stock to be you know bought in, and a lot of different uh, news channels, new outlets are also saying that technology stock should be the way to go. Uh, to be able to make money, but this is not financial advice. This is something that I've been hearing in different news channels, new news outlets, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe because of that, this this technology stock, uh, ex, you know, exploded uh, literally uh, eight hundred fifty percent. That's an atom, that that is uh, a testament to say that something is going on with technology stock. So look, I would definitely add it to the watch list. Don't sleep on the stock. Uh, see how the stock does tomorrow. If it's not rising again tomorrow. You know, I you know is, you 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 be the judge. You know, um, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. See what happens, and if I feel like there's a play here, I'm gonna be playing that tomorrow. And hopefully, over time, we'll come to a, a better understanding on the support and resistance part of it. But the other indicators still suggesting the stock is still gonna have a little bit more room to go higher. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We don't know as of yet how many were shorted, how many were is organic. What's a what's the ownership on the stock is who bought what. So everything will be uh, unraveling in next uh, in coming days. So just stay tuned for that. I'll be making more videos about this stock and see how this does over time. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I've released video every day. The objective here is to get you guys information we can. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.